Assalamualaikum and a very very good um, very early morning okay this is part two of the Millux tri top mixer because the first video um, had issues it couldn't um, move my my voice was the one that you could hear so this is a second take on it first things first this is a Milux food mixer code MFM 3615 it is a dry top mixer because the motor is at the bottom it's not at the top like tilt head mixers that you're used to so this part here is the motor okay It has a powerful 800 watt motor and a 5 liter capacity bowl. Okay, it's quite large. And the splash guard is see through. Okay, and you have a pouring top, pouring spout, which can be closed. Right. Okay, I'm going to show you the attachments that you get. This is the whisk, double whisk. These are the cookie pedals or creaming pedals. This is the dough hook. And this is the attachment um, arm that you would need to attach the whisk and the cookie paddles. I'll show you that in a minute. And also you get a spatula. Okay, before we go on, I'm going to turn on the mixer so I can show it to you. Um, how you put the attachments on and how it looks when it's turned on. Okay, first the plug is Malaysian friendly. Okay, easy peasy. Let's focus on the dials or the speed of this um, Millex Tritop Mixer. It has a pulse button and then zero, one, two, three four five six so it's up to six speeds which is great okay it's, it's a sufficient okay and numbers one to four is used to make bread dough none more than that and for five and six to make whipped cream or meringue and for cookie dough which is rather heavy is between uh, 1 to 4 okay when it's at the heavier stage okay let's um, play with the attachments okay you must be curious as to how the bowl fits onto the motor at the bottom okay it's just simple you know a simple mechanism and another thing about this um, mixer is the very strong suction bottoms there so whenever you stick it on a top you push it down it doesn't move okay all right maybe I should go back a bit sorry about that and so yeah you get to see this in full and yeah look it doesn't budge Alright, the bowl, right, take it out like that, put it on, and you twist it until it locks in place, it doesn't move anymore. So that shows that it's locked. And to take the top off, if you want to pour anything in, your ingredients, you can just take this off. Or if you prefer, you can take the entire thing 
off. Let's put that aside. Okay, the first attachment I'm going to be showing is the dough hook. Okay, that's the slot there. These are the ears. So, this has to match this. So, if it's like this, it goes here. There, it fits. Okay, let's turn it on. And you can see how it spins. That's the dough hook. Alright, now I'm going to show you how you attach the whisk. This is this thing, the arm. Okay, it comes with these scrapers, one, two, three scrapers. And if you can see these two metal sticks that are sticking out, these things, can you see the hole at the bottom? You just press it in clicks in place and the other one it clicks in place too okay and how you put it on it's the same concept as the dough you can see this um, slit here and the ear it has to fit okay and you just put it in that's it that's it so you put your ingredients in your cake batter your margarine sugar then you turn it on okay it made that sound um, because the bowl right now is empty so there's going to be friction okay but once you have all your ingredients in it will whisk smoothly okay don't you worry about that let's move on to the next attachment in order to put this on we would need to take the whisks off so all you have to do is just pull and pull it off and just clip the pedals in clip Putting it on is the same. Basically, there's a slit, fits in the ear. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Maybe you'd like to see it spin. But you're gonna be hearing that terrible noise again. <laughs> friction, my dears, friction. What the friction shows okay is that the scrapers are working okay when the ingredients are turning around and there's going to be some sticking to the sides of the bowl the scrapers are going to scrape the sides down so you get an even mix that's it's it's is great you know i love it I'll show you how it spins from the top. And this one. The dough hook. The whisk attachment. Now I'm going to show the demo of the speed sounds from one to six. This is number one. Two, three, four, five, six. And pulse. Quite a very powerful machine all right there's some other questions that you might want to know how to clean the bowl because the motor is at the bottom right you just clean it like normal okay you just clean it wipe it down it's okay you can clean this part also but 
So when you want to dry it, you put it down like this to dry the innards. And then once the bottom part is dry, or you can wipe it down to dry it, you put it this way. So whatever is um, still wet down here will be dripped down, okay? And then once everything is dry, just put it back on. But if you see any um, dust or anything, you can just wipe it or vacuum it. And basically, you're good to go. Okay? Alright. Why I love this tri top mixer? Okay. If you are keen on making bread dough, which is heavy, the tri top mixer is your best bet. You know how bread makers, uh, the mixer uh, paddle is at the bottom and it is quite small because um, motors at the bottom handle heavy doors well as to mixers with top thry tops you know where that you, you you spin from the top like that you know most mixers are on the motors on the top okay and when you have bread doors and you use those um, tilt head mixers, your head, uh, machine head, will wobble, okay? This type, it doesn't. And it's sturdier, and it's stable. And um, any more pointers? Okay, for bread dough, this machine takes about 10 minutes to turn loose ingredients into a lump of bread dough. And it takes 120 seconds for egg whites to turn into meringue. Okay, so basically 120 seconds also for whipped cream. And I think I've covered everything. But if you'd like to see a demonstration of me actually using this machine, no. I'm actually going to make demos using this machine. I'm going to be making meringue. I'm going to be making bread dough. I'm going to be making um, cookies. So I'm going to be using this mixer. So you're going to have a full-on review. Okay? But if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. And maybe I will highlight it in the next video. It would help me, I guess. Motivate me, actually. If you'd subscribe to me. And just drop by a hi. Thank you. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.